study of specimens and their identification with reasons. In this experiment, we will be learning about different specimens from Kingdom Animalia. We shall observe their characteristics and also study about their placement in a particular phylum. We will be learning about 18 specimens. These are Cycon, Hydra, Liver Fluke, Ascaris, Leech, Earthworm, Prawn, Silkworm, Honeybee, Snail, Starfish, Balanoglossus, Shark, Oscoliodon, Rohu, that is Labio, Frog, Garden Lizard, Pigeon, and Rat. 1. Cycon. Observe a preserved specimen of Cycon. You will note following characteristics of Cycon. Cycon belongs to phylum Porifera of Kingdom Animalia. Since the sponge has a sedentary mode, its body has many pores and there is presence of spicules, therefore sponge is included in phylum Porifera. It has a vase-shaped body. It is commonly called a sponge. It is found attached to rocks in shallow marine water. It shows a number of cylindrical structures joined at the base. The body has many pores called ostia. At the top of the body lies a large opening called osculum. Water enters inside the body through these ostia and comes out from the osculum. The body wall is provided with many spicules. 2. Hydra Observe a permanent slide of hydra under the low power of a compound microscope. Hydra belongs to the phylum Cilentorata of Kingdom Animalia. Hydra has a large cilentron cavity inside the body, presence of nematocysts and tubular polyp form. It is included under phylum Cilentorata. The body of hydra is tubular. Its proximal end is called foot or basal disc. The distal end of hydra consists of a conical elevation called hypostome. The mouth is situated on the hypostome. The mouth is also surrounded by a circlet of 6 to 10 tentacles. Stinging cell or nematocytes are present on the tentacles. The body of hydra may bear one or more lateral outgrowths called buds. Budding is the asexual mode of reproduction in hydra. The bud on further development gives rise to new hydra. However, the animal also shows reproductive organs like ovary and testes. The ovary lies towards the proximal end, while testes lie towards the distal end. 3. Liver Fluke Observe the slide or the preserved specimen of liver fluke and note. Liver fluke belongs to the phylum Platyhelminthes of Kingdom Animalia. Liver fluke has dorsi ventrally flattened body with suckers. There are flame cells in the body, hence liver fluke is included under phylum Platyhelminthes. The scientific name of liver fluke is Fasciola hepatica. Its body is leaf-like. It is an endoparasitic flatworm. It is generally found in the liver of sheep. It is provided with two suckers that is oral and ventral sucker. The oral sucker encloses the mouth. In between the oral and the ventral sucker lies an opening called genital atrium or genital pore. The body is covered with a cuticle. 4. Ascaris Ascaris belongs to the phylum Ascalamenthes of Kingdom Animalia. Ascaris is a round worm showing endoparasitic mode and thus is included under phylum Ascalamenthes. Ascaris lumbricoides is common endoparasite living in the intestine of man. It has an elongated tubular body tapering at both the ends. The body is covered with cuticle. Female Ascaris is longer than the male Ascaris. The posterior end of female Ascaris is straight, while that of male Ascaris is curved. Ascaris causes a disease called Ascariasis, which is characterized by weakness, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and intestinal obstruction. 5. Leech Observe a preserved specimen of leech and note. Leech belongs to the phylum Anelida of Kingdom Animalia. Since the body is metamerically segmented, there are nephridia as the excretory organs. Leech is included under phylum Anelida. Leech is a blood-sucking ectoparasite. This mode is also called sanguivorous. It has an elongated and segmented body provided with two suckers, one at anterior end and the other at the posterior end. The anterior sucker bears jaws enclosed in mouth. 
the body consists of annuli but lacks parapodia or setae the salivary glands of leech secrete an anticoagulant called hirudin 6 earthworm observe the specimen of earthworm and note earthworm belongs to the phylum annelida of kingdom animalia since the body is metamerically segmented there are nephridia as excretory organs earthworm is included under phylum annelida the body is elongated cylindrical and segmented there are about 100 to 125 segments in the body the first segment is known as peristomium the mouth is present in peristomium from the dorsal side of the peristomium a sensory lobe called prostomium projects out a prominent brown colored band called clitalium is present in the anterior region of the body covering the segments 14th 15th and 16th mouth and anus lie at the opposite ends earthworm is a bisexual animal showing a single female genital pore in the 14th segment and two male genital pores on the ventral surface in the 18th segment 7 prawn observe a fresh or preserved specimen of prawn and note prawn belongs to class crustacea of phylum arthropoda in kingdom animalia prawn has jointed appendages and thus is included under phylum arthropoda since there are five pairs of walking legs prawn belongs to class crustacea the body of prawn is divisible into two parts that is cephalothorax and abdomen the cephalothorax consists of 13 segments while the abdomen consists of only 6 segments the cephalothorax bears two pairs of antennae five pairs of walking legs and a pair of stalked compound eyes it is dorsally covered by carapace the first five abdominal segments bear paired biramous appendages called pleopods while the sixth abdominal segment bears a pair of uropods and a telson Prawn is an economically important animal as its flesh is highly valued as food. It fetches substantial amount of foreign exchange due to exports. 8 silkworm. Observe the preserved specimens of adult silk moth that is caterpillar and cocoon. Silk moth belongs to the genus Bombyx mori is classified under class Insecta of phylum Arthropoda in kingdom Animalia. Silk moth has jointed appendages and thus is included under phylum Arthropoda. Since there are three pairs of walking legs, silk moth belongs to class Insecta. Silk moth has four stages of its life cycle. These are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Its larva is called a silkworm. The silkworm has a robust body of creamish white color. It feeds voraciously on mulberry leaves. Though the body of silkworm is like a caterpillar, It metamorphoses into a silk moth having body divisible into three parts namely head thorax and abdomen the head of silk moth bears a pair of compound eyes and a pair of plumose antennae the silkworm transforms into a pupa stage having a cocoon the cocoon is made up of a thread like secretion made by the silkworm silk is extracted from these cocoons Pupae are sacrificed to obtain silk, but some moths are allowed to grow for further development on mulberry trees. Rearing of silk moths and silkworm is called sericulture. Nine honeybee. Observe the preserved specimens of honeybees which live together in a colony and note. Honeybees belong to class Insecta of phylum Arthropoda in kingdom Animalia. They belong to genus Apis, and there are different species of this genus. Rearing of honeybees is called apiculture. The colony of honeybees consists of three types of individuals namely queen, drone and worker. The queen bee is the largest and only fertile female bee in the colony. Only she is capable of laying eggs. The drone is a male. It is smaller in size as compared to the queen. It fertilizes the eggs laid by the queen bee. The worker bee is a sterile female. It is the smallest among all the bees. The body of honey bee is divisible into head, thorax and abdomen. There are two pairs of wings and three pairs of legs. The mouth parts are specially adapted to collect the nectar and pollen. Worker bees possess sting apparatus at the end of their abdomen. Honey bee is a social insect and shows well-coordinated division of labor in the hive. 10 
snail. Observe a fresh or preserved specimen of snail or Areophanta and note. Snail belongs to phylum Mollusca in Kingdom Animalia. The body is soft and enclosed in a mantle, spirally coiled shell and muscular foot is present. Therefore, snail is included under phylum Mollusca. Snail is a terrestrial animal found in moist places like gardens or under the leaves. The shell is spirally coiled. It is external and situated posteriorly. The operculum is absent. Snail possesses two pairs of tentacles. The posterior pair of tentacles are larger and bear eyes near their tips. The foot is flat and large. It is used for creeping. 11. Starfish Observe the specimen of starfish and note. Starfish belongs to phylum Echinodermata in Kingdom Animalia. The body is with pentamerous symmetry and calcareous. There is presence of tube feet, therefore starfish is included in phylum Echinodermata. Starfish is a free-living pentamerous marine animal showing radial symmetry. The body is star-shaped and provided with five radiating arms. Mouth lies in the center of the central disc on the oral side, while anus and madreporite lie on the aboral side. Locomotion is by tube feet. 12. Balagnoglossus Observe the specimen of Balagnoglossus and note. Balagnoglossus belongs to phylum Hemichordata in Kingdom Animalia. Since balanoglossus has characters such as division of body into proboscis, trunk and collar, therefore it is included under phylum Hemichordata. It has a soft body, worm-like and unsegmented. It is seen burrowing in the sand or mud. The body is divisible into a short proboscis, a short collar and a long trunk. The trunk bears many gill slits in its anterior region. Balanoglossus occupies a systemic position between non-chordates and chordates. 13. Shark Scoliodon Sarokoa Observe the specimen of shark and note. Shark belongs to phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, superclass Pisces and class Chondrichthys. Chondrichthys means cartilaginous fish. Shark displays all the characters of cartilaginous fish such as aquatic mode of life, five pairs of gills, cartilaginous endoskeleton, etc. Hence, it is included under class Pisces and subclass Chondrichthys. The scientific name of shark is Scoliodon saracoa. Shark is a marine pelagic fish having cartilaginous endoskeleton. It has a laterally compressed, streamlined, elongated body tapering at both the ends. Mouth is ventral. Exoskeleton is of placoid scales. Shark possesses a pair of pectoral fins, a pair of pelvic fins, two median dorsal fins, one ventral fin and one caudal fin. Of these, dorsal, ventral and caudal fins are unpaired. Of these, dorsal, ventral and caudal fins are unpaired. Caudal fin shows heterocircle characters with unequal lobes. Shark shows five pairs of uncovered gill slits. The operculum is absent. 14. Rohu Labio Rohita Observe the specimen of Rohu and note. Rohu belongs to phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, superclass Pisces, class Ostichthys. Rohu displays all the characters of bony fish such as aquatic mode of life, four pairs of gills, covered with operculum, bony endoskeleton, etc. Hence, it is included under class Pisces and subclass Ostichthys. Ostichthys means bony fish. The scientific name of Rohu is Labio Rohita. Rohu is a freshwater fish having bony skeleton. The body is spindle-shaped with dark or bluish-black dorsal side and silvery-white ventral and lateral sides. Exoskeleton is of cycloid scales. The head is large with a terminal mouth. Eyes are large without eyelids. Gills are covered by bony operculum. The dorsal, ventral and caudal fins are unpaired while the pectoral and pelvic fins are paired. The caudal fin is forked to form two equal lobes. The tail is therefore called homocircle tail. 15. Frog Rana tigrina Observe the specimen of frog and note. 
the body of frog is bilaterally symmetrical. It is divided into two parts, that is, head and trunk. Frog belongs to phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, superclass Tetrapoda, and class Amphibia. Frog respires on land as well as in water, thus having double mode of life. Hence, it is included in class Amphibia. The body is divisible into head and trunk. Tail is absent. The skin is without any exoskeleton. In Rana Tigrina, there are blotches on the skin. The head is triangular in shape. There are two nares situated on either side of the head. Neck is absent. The eyes are large and bulging. They are provided with a nictitating membrane. Behind each eye lies a circular tympanum. The trunk bears two pairs of limbs, namely forelimbs and hindlimbs. Forelimbs are shorter than hindlimbs. The forelimbs consist of upper arm, forearm and hand. Hand is with four digits. The hind limb consists of thigh, shank, ankle, foot and five toes. The cloacal aperture is seen towards the posterior side of the body. 16. Garden Lizard Observe the specimen of garden lizard and note. Garden lizard or Calotis versicolor belongs to phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, superclass Tetrapoda and class Reptilia. Garden lizard has weak limbs and shows creeping locomotion. Body is covered over with scales and hence it is included under class Reptilia. The body of garden lizard is divisible into head, trunk and tail. Skin is covered by exoskeleton or horny scales. The head is provided with a pair of eyes, a pair of nostrils and a pair of titanium membranes. A crest of sharp spines is present on the dorsal surface of the neck and back. The tail is extremely long and cylindrical. It is an insectivorous animal. Garden lizard can change its color according to surroundings for camouflage purpose. 17. Pigeon Observe the specimen of pigeon and note. Pigeon belongs to phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, superclass Tetrapoda, class Aves. Class Aves include birds. The body of a bird is highly modified for the purpose of flight. Body of a pigeon is divisible into four parts, that is, head, neck, trunk and tail. The body is covered with exoskeleton of feathers. The head bears a pair of nostrils, a pair of eyes and a stout beak. Teeth are absent. The forelimbs are modified into wings which are used for flying. The hind limbs are short, used for perching. Digits are provided with claws. Pigeon is commonly seen in urban areas. 18. Rat Observe the specimen of rat and note. Rat belongs to phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, superclass Tetrapoda, class Mammalia. Since rat shows pair of mammary glands and viviparity, it is included under class Mammalia. The body of rat is divisible into head, neck, trunk and tail. The exoskeleton is in the form of soft hairy fur. The head bears a pair of large eyes, a pair of movable external ears called pinnae, a pair of nostrils and a mouth. The forelimbs are shorter than hind limbs. Limbs are used for cursorial locomotion. The tail is long.